Come on, Ali. It's like a race. She go up, ears back. Real. Her favorite pastime, stalking the neighborhood's many cats. The second we lose her attention, we're not getting it back. So when she sees those cats, we know there's going to be some trouble. Molly, gentle. Molly. Molly, nice. Molly. Which is why Hortense and Aya have limited her to short walks. Gentle. And resorted to using a muzzle. Good dog. Aya, I see she's pulling you quite a bit. Yeah. And tell me about the muzzle you have on her. Um, well, we use it because she tries to bite other dogs and cats, so it's more for the safety of other animals. Does she bark at them? She cries, she barks, pulling and doing some kinds of jumping, looping. Oh, does she? Does she start flipping? Yeah, she flips non-stop. I'm going to tell you my worry right now. That muzzle, and I totally understand why you use it, however, she cannot pant. Yeah. That's the only way she cools herself down, is by opening her mouth and panting. Though something that's not so easy to change, Marley's love of hunting moggies. Fascinating. Every single house she goes looking for those cats. Until she hits the jackpot. Marley, Marley come stop. <laughs> Marley. OK, take her away. Come, come on. Good, you see. I see. I see. But to get the daily walk back on track, Victoria's teaching Hortense name recognition. Molly! Yes! And a few other tricks of the trade. Well done. Yes! I keep everything very upbeat. Molly! Good girl. Awesome. And she's close to me. I give her that feeling of safety. Yeah. If I find it hard to get her attention, Molly! Yes, I'm going to use my next method. Molly, thank you. Something you can do if you anticipate a cat. I'm putting myself between the house, the exits, and her. Next stop, the street of many cats. OK, Molly. Uh oh Molly. OK, stop. If she's pulling you too much, yeah. stop. Squeak Stop. your squeaker. Good. Get your food out. Very nice. Molly. Put it on the ground. Instead of chasing the cat, she's now seeking. See? So you're giving her something to focus on instead of that. Good, though. You're doing a really good job. But the job. trickiest part is getting Molly's attention before she sees a cat. This, Molly. Stop. Yes. This is going to take a long time. So we're breaking a long habit here. Molly. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Ooh. We are so close to the cat house here. But in going against instinct... Molly! Molly! Nah, she's not listening to you. Hortense needs to work even harder to keep Marley's focus. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. You'll get it. She'll get it too. But it's tough. This is going to be very challenging. To succeed, this has to be a daily ritual, with every walk seen as an opportunity to train. Keep working with getting her focus and her attention, and it's going to make things a lot easier. It's as much about your energy, your body language, as it is anything else. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.